Hello, my name is April Claxton. Uh, I am here uh, to investigate and document. I actually came with Carissa Fleck and we're doing a paranormal road tour uh, for 12 days. So this is one of our stops. Um, I am a psychic medium. I work with energy. I read individuals. I do one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and then in the paranormal uh, field, I actually will go into an environment and read the energy of those who are, who are there. Um, we got here Friday. Um, I could definitely feel energy, but it wasn't threatening. It wasn't, it was actually very comfortable. Um, and we stayed Friday night, best sleep I've ever had. Um, we did an investigation Friday night. Um, the energy went from okay and comfortable to, um, it, it got very uncomfortable very quickly. Uh, the first time that I came down the stairs, I immediately got dizzy and my stomach, my solar plexus started to kind of flip a little bit. It was very uncomfortable and I got a headache. We had just sat down on the couch and I had said that to Phil. Um, and then during the investigation, energies communicate with me mentally through thoughts, through clairvoyance, seeing, um, clear audiences, clear hearing. So I have thoughts and words thrown at me. Um, during the investigation, there were some sinister things that I picked up um, and they, they are uncomfortable. Um, it got very cold on my left side, uh, and I had said that, and we had different uh, pieces of equipment that started changing um, to validate that. Um, and, you know, we had to actually end the investigation to go outside just because it got, it got a little, um, it got a little uh, heavy for a moment. Uh, we went outside, we uh, talked for a while, there was activity in the backyard, and I, we were talking and I kept looking behind me um, because I could feel things and then noises would take place. Um, and then at some point I remember telling Phil and Chris, I, we need to go inside, we need to go inside now. Um, and it's not a th it wasn't a threatening feeling, it just felt like something wicked this way comes and I needed to move. Um, and we sl I slept. I was able to come back down to the basement. Basement was fine. It was like all the energy shifted. It was it was okay. Um, very pulled to this corner since I got here. It's where I saw a lot of shadow play. Um, something about this corner, even now, it, 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 there's something. Something is going on over there. Um, last night we did a radio show. We drove to Virginia. Drove back here. Uh, on the way back from Virginia stuff started happening. I started getting different thoughts. I started seeing different uh, images, um, much more sinister than Friday night. And that's how things work with me. It was a very different energy than, than Friday night. Friday night, I picked up on a lot of human energy. Um, this is a very different energy. Uh, my phone started going off playing songs in the car. It does not do that. Um, I was telling Phil that all my friends' suggestions on Facebook, ironically, out of nowhere, um, they were either dark energies or they were um, dabbled in the darker arts, um, or it was a lot of movie makeup and all of their default pictures were of them dressed up like a demon or Satan. So um, it just was very interesting. And we got back here almost five in the morning. Chris was out. Um, Chris is used to this energy. I'm not. So. I laid on the couch um, and it, it was um, it was heavy. I felt like there was something sizing me up. I felt something was literally sniffing me. Um, I felt entities literally by, by me. I started calling on my guides and angels, which is what I do. And uh, I couldn't control my thoughts. Um, I started to try to think of Christmas, you know, because everything is thoughts. Negative energies feed off your fear. And they are going to put thoughts and feelings. They're going to make you feel certain ways because that's, it's, it's, it's how they gain momentum. It's how they take control of the situation. They want to control you. You are, you are your own power. But they take power by taking your power away. So I laid there literally struggling to keep myself focused on, I was literally thinking of Main Street at, in Disney World. Um, finally, I, I drifted off. I fell asleep. I haven't had any dreams. I always have vivid dreams. Uh, last night, I had some dreams and it was of this basement and uh, I was communicating with something and I was literally telling it, show me that you're here. And there was a chandelier and it became very sarcastic and it was like fine you want me to show you and the chandelier started swinging uh there was an organ here that started playing and again this is all my dream 
Um, but it was almost like a feeling of, you want a piece of this, we're going to show you that we're here. And I was in that twilight stage and I heard outside of the dream, something hit the floor, like a water bottle. Like if you took a water bottle and threw it on the carpet. The problem is there are no animals down here. There's no cat that walks and knocks something off. Woke me right up. Um, I didn't, part of me was excited uh, because then it's now it's becoming physical. Um, and then part of me was completely chicken because do I want to go into this? Do I want to see this? Where is this going? You never know. You never know. Um, and I opened my eyes and the energy was, it was very clear they were aware of me. They knew that I knew that they knew. And it wasn't human energy anymore. And I forced myself um, to try to go back to sleep. I couldn't. Luckily, Chris's alarm went off. She was up and um, she ran to the store and I went live on Facebook because I didn't want to be by myself down here. I wanted all my followers to be with me. And as I was live, there were noises coming from the corner. Um, the energy has settled a little bit this morning, but it's still, um, whatever was here last night is still here. It's just moved back a little bit and it's a little quiet. Um, I almost feel like I told Phil Friday, it feels like sometimes they put like an invisibility cloak on. They're present, but they're not as engaging. They're watching, um, but they're not um, interacting. They just kind of stay dormant. Um, but uh, I would love to come back to the Horsefly Chronicles case. I would love to have a few nights where I can document, uh, be probably bring somebody with me because I don't want to do this alone. Not because I can't handle it. I don't, I don't like to challenge or provoke things and I don't want to be challenged or provoked. Um, when other people are around, it seems to be a little, um, a little easier, a little more controlled, especially with somebody that's used to this energy. Um, but, uh, definitely I was going to go into the portal and do a live video today. Um, my guides last night told me on the way back that it is not necessary. April, why do you want to go in there? And the truth is I don't need to go in there. There's nothing in there that I need to interact with or see. Um, it could create more harm than good. And I'm all about the good stuff. So um, we've made the decision for me to not. Uh, and then we're going to pack up and continue the road tour. So um, if you have a chance to watch any of these videos, I suggest you do. I also suggest that you protect yourself before you do. Um, I did a radio show with Phil and Carissa from my home in South Florida, Paranormal Zone TV. And the first six minutes of that video, there is a white mist that darts back and forth behind me. You can see it. We've actually trim that video down and, and you can watch it on, on, Insta, on, um, on YouTube. It's also on my page. Um, you know, whatever this is, 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 uh, multiple. Um, there is, and it almost feels like there's different layers and levels of things happening at the same time. I do feel that the more sinister energy is constantly here and controls all of it. Um, if you get a chance to watch the videos, just protect yourself. Please know that things can transfer. Not that they would transfer to you and stay, but this is an active location. Um, if you want to learn more, definitely get the Horsefly Chronicles book. Um, the information as to why the family is here, why this continues to happen, all of that is in the book. It is important, it is necessary in order to understand this location. Um, but uh, yeah, I would love to come back. I want to thank the Syracuse family for having me. Um, this is definitely, and it's not so much the home as it is the family. So uh, yeah, I've not ever had an experience like this before. Um, I think if I were here for a longer period of time, it would probably get worse. Um, I could see a transition. It's almost like whatever here gets comfortable with you and there is no shame. There is no, they're not embarrassed. This is their area. So um yeah, so I just wanted to put that out there. I wanted to document my stay here. Um, we did take some pictures. That investigation live feed is on our Facebook pages. Um, and again, Phil, it was wonderful talking to you, picking your brain, sharing thoughts, reading you, reading your family. Uh, and thank you again for this opportunity. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <clears throat>